So let's take a look at my tie rinse down system. I've had some folks comment on my uh, on my preferred method of spray down and stuff, my portable shower, if you will. So let's take a look at my tie shower. I'm cleaning everything off. Forgive me. We just got in. We fished all night long last night. When I say all night long, I mean we fished from 11 p.m. till 5 a.m. this morning. So that's coming up. I want to show you what we bring on the road, on the beach, especially. For Donkey. Rinse down before we get stuff back in the truck and to make sure our rods are clean before we try to take them back home. Even if we're like three hours away from home filming or something, I can rinse this stuff off very easily. Check it out. Dun, dun, dun. There she is. So what this is, is a typical bug sprayer from Lowe's or Walmart. This is the two gallon version. It runs about $13, 12, 13 bucks. It's got a pump on it. And when you pump it, it puts pressure inside the canister, you lock it, and then you get this effect. I need some pressure. So you're probably like, Ty, what's the big deal with the sprayer? Why not just bring some gallons of water? Well, we used to bring jugs, two gallons at least, three gallons, and just pouring the water out, it just, it all dumps really fast. This thing, we fill with two gallons and two gallons will rinse all our gear down, all the rods off, the life preservers, and then still have enough. I can put this on the truck somewhere and stick it up in here, clip it to on position like that. Voila, We've got a portable shower. I still have enough water Patrice and I both to take a shower, completely rinse down and change clothes and maybe drive an hour or two back home, all with two gallons of water. And it's because of the efficiency of that sprayer. Since we're putting it inside the car. Two gallons, rinse all the gear down, rods, boats, and take a shower each with two gallons because the spray is so efficient. Right, Hopscotch? I hear Mr. Pickles. What's up, cat? What are you doing? Huh? You want some loving? I hear some blue jays. I'm surprised you ain't killed them. You killed everything else around here. Don't have to worry about Mr. Pickles going hungry, no sir. Anyway, that's how we rinse down when we're on the road. That's how we rinse down when we're coming in from the beach. There goes Mr. Pickles. Thanks a lot for watching 30 Days 30 Miles Out. We'll catch y'all next time. What? Alligator. <laughs>